their weight um, but a common misconception with Shetlands is that you can just fling them out full of mouldy hay and, and that'll do them. They, mm. they are very picky, they know what's good for them so you do have to um, watch what you feed them. Okay. Um, on a, a sort of in the wild the ponies will get through from year to year just just on what's available to them grass wise and, and herbs and so on um, with a little bit of supplemental hay in the winter. Um, down here in what you might call the soft south, <laughs> we've, uh, we've got a lot more grass than they would ever have on the islands, or in fact on any of the, the higher parts of, of the UK. So you have to be careful with grass. Um, we find that the that's a perfect grazing for Shetlands is a sort of slightly furry sort of billiard table effect, you know, just, okay. just sort of just a nice nibble for them, but Very not short. lush. They certainly don't have cow pasture. No. Um, we actually uh, run small groups in sort of biggish paddocks. Some people strip graze, that can work really well. We don't actually have the time or the manpower to do that, but that can, can work quite well with Shetlands because we really know exactly what they're eating. Yeah. Um, a sort of general rule of thumb, I would say, with Shetlands is to keep them on short, sweet, clean, pasture, uh, a bit of hay in the winter, um, possibly salt lick, something supplemental like that. Where, where you get into a whole different ball game with feeding Shetlands is when you're showing and riding them. Um, we keep all our show string um, through the winter either in rugs or in stables. Okay. They have hard feed and they have hay, not ad lib, but a good, a good chunk of hay each. Um, because you need to keep the weight on for the show. Yeah. It's not dangerous weight, but you you know you look against other ponies, weighted ponies, and that's just the way it is. But I would say just think of a shepherd as a very efficient eating machine. So they're definitely good doers. Very good doers. They don't need a lot extra. If you keep their teeth well maintained, keep them wormed, um, and the older ponies, just keep an eye on them in the winter because. Um, although they can stand behind hedges, they don't like standing in very cold lane. They can put up with any amount of cold, dry weather, no snow and frost, but cold rain, particularly the old ponies, 